Hi, this is Dr. Sridhar here to you with another video session on black background reduction techniques. This black background reduction technique highly helpful for reducing the complexity of a bigger co control system. And finally, we have to show in a single block, on the left side of that block, input must be there, on the right side of the block, output must be there. So up to that extent, uh, we have to reduce the complexity of given block diagram into such a simplified uh, canonical form. So in today's video session, we are going to discuss about various techniques available and before starting to this block diagram redu uh, reduction techniques, what are the basic philosophy, basic terminology we should understand. Now, without uh, this basic terminology, proceeding to block diagram reduction techniques will not give any fruitful conclusions. So that's why, let me start with uh, the basic terminology involved or uh, required for better understanding of this block diagram reduction technique. So there are uh, summing points and takeoff point, sometimes takeoff point is also called as a branch points. So branch takeaway point, take-in points, branch points, takeoff points, all these gives the same sense. And one more uh, point is nothing but it is a summing point. So first we should understand what is the difference between summing point and takeoff point. Takeoff point is nothing but that point facilitate us to tap some of the information available at that particular point. So, if you could observe in this uh, simplified slide. So, here the takeoff point is nothing but we are marking here. So, the takeoff point is this. So, we are tapping some of the information. That information is nothing but what is that information? So, from here to here up to the C of S, up to this output terminal, that information is nothing but the output. So, completely C of S is nothing but that will be the output of this total system. So, I want to analyze that particular uh, CFS value. So, how can we do that? So, by tapping at any point from the CF, uh, GFS output to the CFS output. So, between them from any point or any instant, you can tap the information. So, this point where we are going to tap the information, that point is nothing but the takeoff point or sometimes it is also called as a branch point. So, this point facilitate us to take off simply simply to take some of the information or uh, for tapping some of the information existing over there. So, that information we are giving to another block that is nothing but the HRS, right. So, this is about the takeoff point and one more point is nothing but it is a summing point. What is that summing point means? Now, we should understand suppose if in at any instant of time if two signals are traveling to each other, if the uh, two signals are approaching to each other, so just like that we cannot add the two signals together, so the two signals, one of them may be positive, one of them may be negative. In such cases, better add the two signals to a summing point, that summing point is nothing but just it simply sums the two signals which uh, signals are approaching to that particular point. Now here, one uh, thing we should uh, more carefully observe. So, that summing point uh, definitely it will have different plates. So, to that particular plate only that incoming signal should be connected. So, sometimes what happens the plates of the summing point may be positive, some of the uh, sometimes one of the plate may be negative. So, based on that uh, uh, positive plates and negative plates and you have to give the signals what type of control system you want to build. Sometimes positive feedback control systems will be there. Positive feedback control system means the feedback what you are going to get from the output of this HFS, it should be given to the past plate of the summer. Anyhow, that input RFS always it will be given to the past plate in the majority of the cases. One more control system that is a negative feedback control system is there. The negative feedback control system means in that uh, negative feedback control system, the output of this HFS, it will be given to the negative plate at the summing point. So, like that, the summing point may have all the plates may be positive or some of them may be negative. Okay, whatever it may be, the summing point is nothing but it is a point, it is hardly required whenever two signals are approaching to there. So, that is the summing point and try to understand that basic difference between summing point and the takeoff point. Takeoff point facil facilitates us to tap the information 
and whereas summing point is nothing but it is going to add the two signals uh, where the two signals if those two signals are approaching to each other. So that is uh, the sense to difference between summing point and takeoff point. So block diagrams consist of single blocks or combination of blocks. So suppose if you could observe here in this one. Now this is the block diagram representation. This block diagram representation is consists of different blocks. So this G of S is one block and H of S is one more block and it may have some different summing points. Now in this simple uh, block diagram representation one summing point is there but in the practically there may be more than one may also exist and one takeoff point or sometimes this is also called as a branch point. So this is what the basic uh, components uh, we can come across whenever we are talking about the block diagrams. These are used to represent the control systems in pictorial form. Now suppose here if you could observe here everything is uh, every block and every summing point signals everything we have represented in the pictorial form. So that is what uh, the block diagram is. So the basic elements just now also we have discussed that the basic elements involved in the block diagram representation are summing points, takeoff points or branch points. Uh, now some of the authors may use instead of summing points, uh, instead of takeoff point, branch points or takeaway point, whatever it may be, takeoff point, branch points and these are same and summing points are different. So in addition to these two uh, points, now we may come across with different blocks. Inside that block, the mathematical equivalent of that particular block, which is nothing but the transfer function of that particular block, it will be specified inside that block. So that is nothing but, now suppose if you are taking about the GFS. So that GFS is nothing but, it is, it is there, it is existing between input to output. Means you may come across this GFS whenever you are traveling from input to output. So this GFS is nothing but it is called as a forward path transfer function. So HFS is nothing but this is also a transfer function but you may come across this HFS whenever you are traveling from output to input. So that is nothing but it is a feedback, a feedback path transfer function. So this is forward path and this is the feedback path. So you can specify all these uh, different uh, terms involved in the uh, block diagram are basic elements with the help of this particular uh, pictorial representation of the block diagram. So block diagram consists of two blocks having transfer functions G of S and H of S where G of S is nothing but it is a forward path transfer function, H of S is nothing but it is a feedback path transfer function. It is also having different number of summing points and takeoff points. This here the important thing we should remember that is arrowheads. Now arrowheads ind indicates the energy flowing in from where to where the signal is or the energy is flowing in the block diagram. So the direction of that particular arrow is very very important that indicates the flow of power, the flow of energy from which block to which block it is flowing. So this will highly helpful while reducing the complex block diagrams into a simplified block diagrams. So these arrowheads are very very important. So let us talk one by one what is this block. The block already we have discussed the transfer function of a component, the uh, transfer function of any element it will be represented inside a block. Suppose for example here if you could see that input signal for the component is nothing but x of s and output is nothing but the y of s. So whenever x of s is traveling through any elements suppose for the same system if you want to represent the pictorial form or block diagram, that block diagram is nothing but it will consist of different number of blocks. What do you mean by that block? Block is nothing but that inside that block we used to represent some mathematical expression. What is that mathematical expression means? That is the equivalent of that component. Actually what the component is, now with the help of some fundamental laws we can convert uh, or we can develop the mathematical equivalent of that particular component that mathematical expression we are going to represent inside a block. So that is nothing but simply irrespective of nature of that original component, we can convert everything into some pictorial form. Now that is nothing but the, what is the advantages of these blocks or block diagram representation means that is the, the major advantage. Now here after uh, representing the original component or uh, element by means of a block. Now, 
for that uh, if we can apply the transfer function principle that is nothing but laplace transform of output to the laplace transform of input now if you are applying the same thing over here so laplace transform of output mm -hmm. to the laplace transform of input that is y of s to x of s which is nothing but g of s over here so if you are cross multiplying that particular expression so you will get output y of s is nothing but g of s into x of s. So, what is the g of s and x of s? Always you should remember that output is always e is equal into the product of input and the transfer function. This rule highly helpful for us in the forthcoming video sessions. So, output of the block is obtained by multiplying the transfer function of the block with input. Just now also we have discussed over here. So, this is nothing but this is uh, the product so, g of s into x of s. So, what is the summing point? Summing point is nothing but it uh, represented with a circle having a cross inside it. It may has two or more inputs and single output produces the algebraic sum of the inputs. So, it may add sometimes suppose if the summing point is having two plates, one plate is positive, one plate is negative. So, for that particular plate, if it is uh, for the positive plate, if the input is given and that R of S is the input if it is given to the positive plate and one more signal, one more input, uh, of course, it may be coming uh, from another block if it is given to the negative, then what is that summing point it will do? It will subtract the signal from larger signal uh, strength to the lower signal strength. So, that R of S minus so and so. So, like that, not only summing point always adds the signals together. So, based on the polarities of that particular plate to which you are giving to the signal, so, sometimes it may also subtract the signals. So, that is the beauty of the summing point. It always performs the summation or subtraction or combination of summation and subtraction of the inputs based on the polarity of the inputs. Polarity of the inputs is nothing but in another way it can also be put like this. Suppose the same signals, positive signals, if it is given to the different polarities of the particular plates of the summing points. So, there also it may be... Uh, sums or subtracts or adds together. So, this is about the summing point and next one is nothing but suppose about the summing point if you are talking about uh, how that summing point will work effectively. So, with the help of uh, one or two example we can explain or we can discuss the operation or operating principle of the summing point. Now, in the first example if we could see here the summing point is having two plates. One plate is nothing but this is the one plate that signal A is given to the positive plate and next the signal B is also given to the positive plate. So, what the summer, the summing point will do? So, if the output of the summer is y, then it will add these two signals A and B. So, y is equal to A plus B. So, this is about the uh, outputs. Now, here how many inputs uh, the summer is having? Two inputs and only one output. So, it, now based on the polarity, so the summing uh, summer is, ha is having two polar uh, plates. The two plates are having positive polarities. So, two positives. So, A and B add these together. So, finally, you are going to get Y is equal to A plus B. So, this is the output. So, like this, how the summing point, uh, summing point is functioning. So, next one is one more summer here the same uh, everything is same two inputs are acting but b input the signal b is connected to the negative plate of the summer so if it is connected to the negative plate of the summer positive and negative so finally the output is nothing but y is equal to a minus b so this is how the summing point is function and here this is y is equal to a plus b in the first case it is nothing but it is summing so adding the two signals but whereas in the second case, it is nothing but it is subtracting. So, based on how it is happening, addition and subtraction means based on the polarities, based on the simply based on the polarities only it is happening. So, if the uh, two plates of the summer in case of two signals, now if the two plates are positive, it will add those two signals. Suppose one of the plate is negative, in the cases it will subtract uh, the negative signal from the positive signal. So, like that it is going to happen. So, this is how it is happening. So, let us examine in case of three signals. If the three signals are acting on the summer. So, here if you could see this summing point. So, this is signal A and uh, this is signal B 
and the signal C. So signal A is given to the, now here the summing point is having three plates. So first plate is uh, having positive polarity to which the signal A is connecting and second plate is positive polarity to which the signal B is connecting and third plate is nothing but that is signal C, it is connected to the negative plate. So plus, plus and minus. So finally what the, is the output here? So this summer it will add the signals which are connected to the positive plate and from the total the signal which is connected to the negative plate it will be subtracted. So that is A plus B and minus C. So Y is equal to A plus B and minus C. So that is what the output is. So based on that number of inputs and to which plate that input is connecting, so based on that it will be added together. So Y is equal to A plus B and minus C. So like this, the summing point, it will operate. So I hope uh, you people are following it. So next one is takeoff point. So it is a point from which the same input signal can be passed through more than one branch. So same input. So for the takeoff point, this input is same. So that is uh, that is the thing. So takeoff point is nothing but it is a point from where we are going to tap the energy. So tap the signal information. Or we are going to give the same information to another blocks as well. So if you could observe here, <coughs> this is the takeoff point. So we are tapping this information and we are giving the same information to the second block and third block as well, not only for the first block. So uh, like that, so here whenever you are tapping the energy, so there is no loss of energy. So that is the beauty of this takeoff point. So nothing, uh, there is no dip or there is no loss of energy. Same energy if you want to give to the more number of blocks. So simply you tap the energy and you give it to the blocks. So uh, we can examine or we can observe this takeoff point uh, characteristics for three blocks if it is connected and otherwise also takeoff point here from the feedback. Suppose if you want to take the feedback from uh, the forward path, so you can tap the energy and you can give it to the feedback path. So directly it, will, it may be connected over there. So this is also it uh, happens here. So takeoff point is used to connect the same inputs to two or more number of blocks or uh, if it is required to connect uh, more than one block, so you can simply take the information. Here that important thing we should remember that there is no loss of energy. So if uh, more than two number of blocks, if you want to energize with the same potential, simply you tap the energy and you give it to that uh, another block. So this is uh, what the takeoff point, sometimes it is also called as a branch point. These are the basic terminology required for better understanding of block diagram concepts. I hope it is uh, very clear to all. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.